from No Joke NHL. We're here to talk about the Dallas Stars taking on the Anaheim Ducks in their playoff series. The uh, Ducks finishing first in the Pacific Division, 116 points um, on the season, and uh, plus 57 goal differential, uh, 54 wins uh, on the season. They come in the last 10 games, 7-3, uh, and three, so they definitely come in impressive. Uh, got a couple great starts and a couple wins uh, for, the, uh, for the rookie, John Gibson. Um, and so they, they're, they're, they're pretty much pulling, uh, pulling every switch, uh, you know, they've been coming at all angles to, like I said, almost, almost be able to take that President's Cup trophy. Uh, Dallas Stars come in with 40 wins and 91 points, uh, plus 7 on differential. Uh, they came in relatively respectable at 6-4. and four. They had, uh, you know, the Phoenix Coyotes, of course, uh, imploded and pretty much handed, the, handed them their, you know, this final spot. But, uh, you know, they, they, they were nonetheless getting some wins and uh, playing some decent uh, hockey coming in. So looking at the uh, four max numbers for, uh, for this game uh, coming in, these are the last, for, this is the uh, four max offensive and defensive averages for the last five games. So uh, Dallas coming in, 2.6 on offense, 2.0 on defense, impressive number for defense there. Anaheim coming in 2.8 and uh, 2.4 on defense. So n numbers pretty close there, uh, in, you know, as far as scoring goes. Uh, so you know, depending on uh, depending on style of play, it uh, could go either way. Uh, Ducks like a minus 190 favorite, plus uh, 170 comeback on the Dallas Stars. Uh, and like I said, more than likely, uh, more money will come in on Anaheim. You kind of have to think in game one uh, to do that. Uh, some questions that I do have. I mean, Bruce Boudreau, uh, you know, he was an excellent uh, regular season coach here in Washington, D.C. Uh, for these Capitals. And uh, lo and behold, they, they kind of had, you know, uh, a bunch of, uh, you know, playoff runs where they fell massively short with some great records, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying the Ducks are the Capitals, uh, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. The Ducks are definitely deep and have talent. And like I said, they, they definitely have better, uh, better goaltenders than the Capitals have certainly had in the last couple of years. But nonetheless, uh, you know, can, can Boudreaux get it done in the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of think they're going to get by the Dallas Stars here at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily ready to, you know, say that they're the best in the West and are going to march right through to take this. I mean, I think the West is wide open here. And, uh, I mean, you know, the Ducks are certainly players, and they've certainly played like they should be players. But, you know, like I said, can, can, can Boudreaux pull the switches and not get manipulated, especially in a series, you know, like I said, there was those antics between him and Roy or whatever or something like that. So when push comes to shove, can Boudreaux really get it done in the playoffs? And it's been yet to be proven. So, uh, you know, I mean, that, that's the one angle that I look at. As far as betting, uh, you know, as far as betting for the series, uh, you know, Ducks, again, up to like minus 180 for the series, plus 160, come back on the Stars. Um, I would want to see a little bit of hockey before I got involved here. I mean, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, I would have to think the Ducks are there. But, uh, you know, n n nothing really seems to jump off the page. I mean, I'm going to look at some uh, exact numbers. Uh, you know, the first three videos, I really haven't made a selection one way or another. I mean, I kind of think the Blue Jackets are uh, certainly some, something worth considering there. I don't think, I don't think Pittsburgh's just going to knock them out of the park. And like I said, they, they certainly have some, some questions to be answered, too, just like these Ducks do. Like I said, the Stars come in pretty well. Kerry Layton, and, you know, certainly a step down from whoever, uh, you know, whoever Anaheim puts in net. Been talked that it's going to be Frederick Anderson, uh, Jonas Hiller. Uh, you know, basically been sat. He wasn't even the backup the last two games. So uh, you know, free agent at the end of the year. I'm, I'm not sure what Boudreaux is doing there. Uh, but a goalie, you know, a, a little goalie crisis or controversy right, right going into the Stanley Cup playoffs as the number one seed in the West is probably not what the doctor ordered. But you know, like I said, I mean, the Ducks certainly have enough talent to be able to turn this around. And I think that kid, John Gibson, is definitely for real. So uh, you, you know. I mean, that being said, you know, the, the Ducks are live to go in the West here, but uh, they have a lot of questions. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to do a little piece on uh, the 4MAX numbers for all these teams up at statintelligence.blogspot.com. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, uh, definitely check out the, the rest of the uh, playoff preview videos. I do like some teams, and, I'm, and I will talk about them. These first three videos uh, have not had, a, had me, you know, with a play, uh, but I do have some coming up where I will. So, um, Depending on what order you're watching these in, uh, like I said, I'll have somewhere I have a play. All right, uh, with that, let's drop the puck. More importantly, let's make some money.